With the center finally releasing for Ark Survival Ascended, I thought it was time to cover the top 10 base spots on the new remastered map. The center is a huge multi-layered map with many caves, but also some viable outside base spots, and it has one of the strongest spots in Ark. And it's also great for small and solo tribes as it had many rat holes back in the day. So today, we're going to take a look and see if the center still holds up as being one of the best maps in Ark. These are the top new base locations for the center remastered in no particular order. First up we have the corner shelf. This spot is a new spot in the corner of the map, located at 96.22. Up really high there's a small shelf, great for a starter base or a small tribe. And this spot, it's next to the world border so you don't have to defend your base from one side. So it means enemies can only get approached from one side and also you can fly a terror up to this upper area which isn't spawnable but you could put your best loot up the top here and there's another shelf inside. This may get patched down the track, but for now this is a great spot for a starter tribe. You can actually fly a Terra up into this little crevice. So this spot is really great for a starter spot or a small tribe looking to lay low, maximum defense with minimum cost. This upper spot of this area will probably get patched, but this lower level by itself is strong enough. Next up, we have a spot that needs no introduction, and that is Alpha Ice Cave. This cave is actually probably one of the strongest, if not the strongest spot in Ark Survival Evolved to build. It has a huge amount of room inside, found at 2127. And inside this cave is an underwater entrance that is very hard for enemies to push and very easy for the base owners to defend because enemies have to get their dinosaurs down through this water hole. And especially with the cryo meta, it's going to be very hard for enemies to get through here. So they've made it even harder with some of these icicles being really small and actually blocking the way in some spots. So eventually it comes to this part through the water and above here is where tribes will put their defense. You can put a chandelier above this and easily stop enemies and shoot them off the back of their stegos or whatever team they're coming to soak your base with. And it feels like it's even higher than it was before. This spot is super strong, like I say, one of the, if not the strongest spots in Ark Survival Ascended and Ark Survival Evolved, and it still stayed that way through the new update and remaster. Huge amount of space in here to build. Next up, we have a spot that's familiar to a lot of people, and that is the Pearl Cave located on the Volcano Island. This spot has changed quite a bit. Found at 2046, this base spot has a much bigger entrance than it did in the past so it's not as strong as it used to be it's still pretty decent but it's definitely not as great as it used to be this used to be one of the strongest spots in arc it's still strong enough to make this list as it's one of the top spots on the map put your turret wall at the far back here and it should defend pretty well unless one of the new shadow main the fire shadow mains come and raid your base which seem like they're going to be pretty good for raiding bases so Take this with a grain of salt, this base spot might not be viable for too much longer once they become a meta. But it's still pretty strong if you know how to build it and you're online and active. And it's just a cool spot inside here. It's nice and cozy and there's plenty of room to build up for a big tribe or a small tribe. This next spot is another corner shelf. And this one is much bigger than the other shelf. This spot would suit a bigger tribe. Located again on the world border, this base spot is protected from one side, which means you only need to protect from one angle. And that means this is gonna be a great spot. And it's really out of the way, hidden and in the corner of the map so that people scouting are less likely to come across your base and you can stay low key and less of a target. And it's harder for people to raid as it's on the vertical wall. So it's harder for people to fob up and build up to your base. So this spot has a lot more room and a lot more opportunity to build. I'm just trying to include some spots that aren't just caves because obviously with Ark Survival Ascended, mostly cave spots are the meta. But obviously with the center, we wanna take advantage of these nooks and crannies and parts around the map that make the center so great. Next up, we have the lava cave on the center and this spot is actually pretty great for a bigger tribe if you can defend it. It has some pretty decent natural defense Found around about 1562, the Lava Cave has a great drop-off point to put your first turret wall at. Once you enter the cave, there's actually a big drop down, and then there's an entrance to another compartment of the cave. So if you can defend this first area well, it's a pretty great spot with lots of room to build inside. And it's got great natural defense with the lava. 
and inside it's had a big glow up so there's a lot of plant growth and wood and other supplies in here so it makes living and surviving in here a lot easier than it was in the past a very cool spot to build and again lots of nooks and crannies further in here too to take advantage of so the lava cave is a great spot next up we have the waterfall shelf which is another new base spot that i found since the remaster is a great hidden spot around about 12 29 and just in the waterfall here is a nice big shelf with plenty of room to build and tucked away in the back corner is a little tiny rat hole with a bit of water even in the back which some people will find some uses for i'm sure so this is a cool little spot you could put a little bit of defense back here i don't know how far it would get you but again just somewhere different than a cave to live that might be viable until transfers open at least enjoy it while you can it's what makes the center so great is all these different assorted shelves around the map there's a lot more of these these are just the ones that tickled my fancy when i was scouting around next up we have double bear cave another classic spot from arc survival evolved that's been remastered it's a little bit weaker than it was previously due to the bigger hallways in the two entrances as this is double bear cave but this spot is still quite strong i think you could defend it until the fire shadow moans blast through your doors if you build a high up turret wall here it will get you pretty far this is the first entrance to block the lower entrance and then it leaves into its central room with plenty of room to build up and this was a very popular spot to build back in the day so again a nice spot tucked away in a cave but with the new meta this might not be as safe as it used to be so just be aware the new shadow mains are pretty dangerous and lethal and cave locations are not going to be as good as they were in the past but these hallways are small enough that the stego can't fit through so hopefully this base spot will get you pretty far if you build it well and put your turret walls further enough back from the choke points next up we have a spot at 48 13 that i call rat nest this spot actually lets you spawn on beds at least on single player all my testing was done in single player just take that with a grain of salt but this spot is nice and tucked away on one of the big steeping sides of the map on the center and it's great because with arc survival ascended it's very hard to find a spot where you can actually spawn on beds and there's a few little nooks and crannies in here which is why i've called this rat nest but this spot's great it's hidden away but it's still got enough room to breed and do what you need to do if you're if you're a small to medium tribe this is a nice little spot hidden and off the grid with still enough room to move and beds work so win-win obviously no center base video would be complete without covering the underworld of the center the piece to resistance at 4553 is one of the three entrances to the underworld of the center which is basically like the land before time a whole underground segment of the map that doesn't have a sky it basically now has its own self-sustaining sun down here from this first drop-off entrance you can fly down here there's a huge amount of space and bed spawns are working again at least on single player so it's a great spot with lots of nooks and crannies obviously alpha tribes tend to block this off but if you're a small to medium tribe maybe on small tribes or apocalypse you might be able to get down here and find a little nook and cranny hidden away off the grid and this is again why the center is so amazing just these little hidden areas of the map and i think bed spawns will work a lot better in here than they do anywhere else on the map at least that's my theory because otherwise the center as a map with the arc survival of ascended mechanics is not going to function very well so great spot the other entrances are found at 3761 and 6647 there's an underwater entrance as well so very cool spot and it looks amazing with the new sun down in the last but not least we have the rest of the caves on the center and these caves were left out because these are not as strong as the previously mentioned caves but they're still worth mentioning if you want to live in a cave we have single bear cave at 2960 jungle cave at 5459 crystal cave at 5349 jungle south river cave at 4352 we have snow south redwoods cave just didn't quite make it because single bear cave no longer has a crouch entrance so this cave is nowhere near as strong as it used to be 
I don't think anybody's really going to use this as a base spot any longer because it's going to be far too easy for people to push in. Same with the jungle south cave. This cave is not quite viable for PvP at least, but it's still a good spot to know off. And also jungle cave has a huge entrance, but there could be some nooks and crannies down in these caves at 54, 59. Crystal Cave also had a bit of a glow up and this spot used to be a really cool spot to live and many tribes built hidden in here so good spots to know. Redwoods Cave had a bit of an update but still not really a viable spot to live but very cool nonetheless at 90, 63. And also the underwater bubbles on a side note don't let you uncryo tame so they're not viable base locations. But I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to smash a like on it and subscribe for more Ark Survival Ascended content. You guys are legends. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.